Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to Disney December 2022. This is the fourth and final installment of Disney December 2022. It has been a great time sharing my passion for the Disneyland theme park with you all. But alas, all good things must come to an end. Do not fret though, Disney December will return at the end of 2023 in the month of December. Uh, today's video topic is a little bit somber. A little sad as we close out the Disney December year. You might be upset that the series is ending for now, but we also have something else to be upset about, and that is the closure of Indiana Jones Adventure for now. Uh, if you do not know, Indiana Jones Adventure is a Disneyland ride in Adventureland that is closing tomorrow, January 9th, 2023, until spring of 2023 for a full refurbishment. Gosh, does that ride need it. It's been almost a full decade since it was refurbished last. I believe it was 2014 was the major refurbishment it underwent last. Uh, this ride is one of the best in the theme park, according to many, many people. It's very, very popular. It also breaks very often, and even when it's functioning, it's still kind of broken. In today's Disney December 2022 video, I wanted to go ahead and pay tribute to the Disneyland ride Indiana Jones Adventure, give it a nice proper send off, a see you later to the ride, when it returns in spring of 2023, I'll be very excited to see what is new, what has been changed, what has been fixed, and all that lovely stuff. So let's hop right into the story of Indiana Jones Adventure. The ride is set one year before the movie Raiders of the Lost Ark, where Indiana Jones finds a temple in India that is dedicated to the deity Mara. Mara is this being that gives gifts to people if you follow some rules that Mara provides, such as not looking it in the eyes. Essentially, the archaeology budget for the excavation of the temple runs out, and in order to raise money, someone decides to start letting tourists go in, and people are coming out rich and beautiful and young and all sorts of lovely things. So people go in, they flock to it. Eventually, though, people start to go missing, and Indiana Jones is called back in to figure out where the heck all these people went. That is where, of course, the ride begins. We are going in to figure out why he also has gone missing. Because surprise, even good old Indiana Jones has fallen prey to the deity Mara. Throughout the ride, you find out, of course, that it is because people have looked into the eyes of Mara, which leads their pathway to doom. At the end of the ride, you escape with Indiana Jones, and everyone is happy. Now, that all sounds well and good. It's a very fun ride when you get to experience it in its somewhat max capacity. It doesn't often work all the way through, and that's really why it's being refurbished. There's a ton of effects both in the queue and in the ride that haven't worked for up, uh, upwards of decades for some things. And so I'm going to go through and list out each thing that I noticed, what was not functional in the last time I wrote it. I will say, though, that my video is really, really bad, so I'll be trying to show you as little of that as possible. Turns out it's really hard to film a ride that is in the dark and incredibly bumpy. Shocker. Anyway, we're going to start off going through the queue, discussing the things that are broken there, and then we'll discuss the things that are broken in the actual ride. Starting off with the queue, you enter on the outskirts of Adventureland, and then you begin to walk into the entrance of the temple, and then you go almost a mile underground to get to the actual attraction. It's crazy how far you have to go. You have to go this far because you need to pass under the Disneyland Railroad in order to get to a warehouse where they store the attraction, but it's crazy how far they make you walk. There's a bunch of fun ways they move you in and out of Disneyland's like park boundaries. Uh, for example, in Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, the two drops you experience at the start of the ride are to navigate you underneath uh, the Disneyland Railroad. Uh, same thing with in the Haunted Mansion, you have the stretching room, which is an elevator to again move you underneath uh, the Disneyland Railroad. Here in Indiana Jones, though, they ran out of creative juices and you just have to walk almost a mile to get there. There's not too too much to talk about in the queue besides the fact that there was actually a removed feature that I noticed. In the room where there is a bunch of spikes and skulls, there was originally a, a bit of a pole that you can shake, it's like bamboo. And uh, when you shake it, every 15 or so minutes uh, it will activate and the ceiling will begin to lower, some spikes will come out. It's just supposed to, you know, freak everyone out that's in there. It's, it's loud and makes a, makes a cool little talking point. Uh, but that was actually completely removed. It hasn't worked in quite a while. Anytime I went through, I shook it and nothing happened. I'm like, ah, someone must have just done it. Uh, but no, it was actually just broken. So broken to the point that they just yanked it out. I doubt that will return because it's gone right now. They'd have to reset it up. So I think that's going to be gone for forever. Uh, but that was the first thing I noticed that was either not working or completely missing. But it's not too big of a deal. It's not like it's a major feature of the ride or anything. The rest of the queue is fairly normal. There is the big observatory room where you can shake the rope that says do not pull. It's got an artifact on the end of it. 
and some British guy will holler back at you and be like, hey, stop shaking it. And then you walk into the room with Sala, giving his explanation of what's going on, the safety information and whatnot. That used to rotate through. There used to be the safety information. And then there's also like a fake news broadcast that explained the story that I explained at the top of the video. Uh, that's gone. It's not necessarily broken. They probably just removed it because safety information is more important. It was cool to see. I'm sure there's probably a video of it somewhere on YouTube if you felt like looking it up. The rest of the queue is rather uneventful. You go up some stairs, over a small bridge, and then down some stairs. That way you don't walk over the track. And then you're on the ride. You enter. There's Mara in the three doors. The doorway lead to different destinies. Originally, those doorways rotated. Uh, they no longer rotate. The lights just change. The pattern changes as you walk through. Or, I guess, drive through. You're in the little car at this point. You go in. Someone in your car foolishly looks into the eyes of Mara, which means your pathway now leads to Doom. You hang in the corner. There's Indiana Jones. And then we hit our first broken ride mechanic. Although this one has been broken actually forever. If you begin the ride and you have really good ears or you have a quiet group, you can hear the sound of, of rocks tumbling down. No rocks actually tumble down. It's right as you uh, turn the corner away from Indiana Jones and go and see the, uh, the corrupted sort of like falling apart Mara statue. Uh, there was originally a ice machine that was in the, the ceiling that would spit out uh, stained ice to look like rocks falling from the roof. There's actually a video of it on YouTube in, I think it was from 1995. There's a video of it working, uh, but it broke pretty soon afterwards. Turns out if you run an ice machine that much on a conveyor belt, the ice will melt and it will rust. So that hasn't worked in a really, really long time. I doubt they bring this back in the renovation. It would be super, super cool if they did. I think for longtime Disney fans or people who know that like insider information about this thing that was supposed to work, but doesn't work, it'd be huge to bring that back. It'd almost be like, a less significant hatbox ghost uh, coming back in the Haunted Mansion. If, you know, when we step back into this ride in 2023 spring, uh, you get to see the falling gravel. That'd be really cool. I don't suspect that will actually happen, however, uh, solely because you'd have to get into the ceiling to fix that, and rust is a problem you can't really change when you're dealing with wet mechanics, so I don't think it's going to happen, but that is the first thing I wanted to mention as far as a broken mechanic. Like I said, don't think that's going to get fixed. The next thing that I found was broken that I can remember being broken. I'm not sure if the skeleton room had any issues. I don't remember it that much. But the thing I know has an issue is the giant snake. There's a giant snake as soon as you cross the bridge uh, in front of that uh, broken Mara statue. And Indiana Jones basically nopes right the heck out. He says, I'm, I'm out. I don't like snakes. You deal with this one. And you, you hang around a small circle. And then a snake is supposed to lunge at the car. The car then will like jerk in response to the snake and then proceed past it. That snake isn't working. He looks really, really darn goofy. He just sits there right now staring at you and then you wait for a second and then instead of him lunging, nothing happens and the cart kind of goes e -uh, and then drives away. Doesn't make much sense without the snake lunging. I know for a fact that one's going to get fixed. That one is essential to the ride. They have it programmed in the car itself to react to it. So without the stimulus, it doesn't make sense for the car to react. I know for a fact that one's going to get fixed. The next thing that was broken for my ride group was the rat hallway. When you hang the corner after going under for the snake and then seeing the weird demon projection, which is stupid and should be removed. I don't know why there's a random demon projection. Doesn't really make sense with the ride. Uh, but you enter a really dark tunnel and there are rats. There's supposed to be projection of rats running across a, a little log on a smoke machine. But they project it on the smoke. That wasn't working, so there's just like a seven second dark tunnel. It's just pure black. I don't know if that rat projection is going to come back. Hopefully they replace that entire section with something better. I don't know what would go there. I'm not really an Imagineer. I'm sure if I had sat down and put my nose to the grindstone, I could come up with something. Uh, but a rat projection is kind of weird. They took out the projection in Pirates of the Caribbean, where she used to project uh, Davy Jones's face onto a very similar smoke machine. And they replaced that with, uh, I believe it's a pirate that's half skeleton, half man. They should do something like that in Indiana Jones Adventure. The rat projection was just kind of weird. Real estate in a Disneyland attraction is very hard to come by. It should all be maximized to its fullest extent, and I don't think a rat projection is the best way to do that. So I would like to see something new replaced there. I'm not sure what it would be. Perhaps it can pull something from maybe the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I'm sure there's like a big spiders thing. They could do something with spiders in that movie. I don't know. I think that real estate should be repurposed, though. I look forward to seeing that tunnel again. Hopefully not with rats, or at least if it has to be rats, it'll be working and not just pitch black for seven seconds. The climax of the attraction, the part everyone knows about, 
was actually working when I got on the ride. At the end of Indiana Jones Adventure, there is a boulder scene. Of course, Indiana Jones famous for the boulder scene. Essentially, Indiana Jones is hanging from a rope. He says, hey, let me in the car. And then you begin to back up because a boulder starts rolling towards you. The boulder doesn't move, really. Uh, it's the, the walls around you moving and the car shakes. And then eventually you dive under the boulder in the nick of time. You save Indiana Jones. And that ends the ride. That is infamously hard to work. It's an effect that requires a lot of things to work together. The car has to work properly. The walls have to work properly. There's a strobe light that has to work properly. If one of those things messes up, it kind of just ruins it. And oftentimes, it's ruined. The walls, like I said, have to move entirely back. The car doesn't move. The boulder doesn't move. The walls move. If it doesn't work, there's no boulder. You just sit there for a couple seconds with the car shaking, and then you keep going. That's critical. That's integral to work. That is the climax of the ride. It'd be like if you were watching a movie, and then the movie just ends. It's almost as if, actually, it's like an old school Snow White scary adventures, where it just ends. You need to have the boulder working. I don't know what's going to happen with the boulder. I know it's going to stay. I, I would bet my bottom dollar, because that is an iconic Indiana Jones scene. I don't know how they're going to make it work 100% of the time. That brings us to the end of the Indiana Jones Adventure ride, but not quite the end of the video. I wanted to share some thoughts, some hopes for the Indiana Jones Adventure ride, because it's truly one of the best that Disney has to offer. When you look at something like Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, that's what Indiana Jones Adventure was for me when I first uh, began going to the Disneyland park. I was a pretty big fan of Indiana Jones, and I really, really enjoyed this ride. I'm looking forward to seeing it in full working condition for the next Disney December. I just wanted to share uh, two stories from Indiana Jones from when I was very young that I uh, that I, I really appreciate and I think kind of help you guys understand what this ride means to me. The first story I want to share was actually the time I got on the ride for the very first time. See, I am a short human being. I am five foot seven. That is kind of short for an American male. However, I was even shorter when I was a kid. I was so short that I couldn't ride the Indiana Jones ride by like an inch, or maybe an inch and a half. It was a not really negligible amount, and that was a bummer for me. But my dad had an idea, so we walked away from the ride, they said I was too short to go on it, and we went to the bathroom, and he took up paper towels from the bathroom, and rolled them up and put them in my shoes, so I would be a little bit taller. We went back later, and I stood in the little height checker, and they're like, yeah, you're good. And so we were all excited, we went into the ride, and like halfway through the queue, I was like, this hurts my feet. And so we took the little napkins out, and we went through the rest of the queue. When I got on the car, however, they said, you look kind of short. And they pulled me off the car to check my height again, and I was too short. Uh, that's, that's true. I didn't have the things in my shoes anymore. But everyone in the car was like, oh no, let him get on. And so they did let me go on, and I got to experience the ride for the very first time. Super, super special, and I just really appreciate uh, that story and my dad for helping make that happen. The next thing I wanted to mention was just that I didn't look in Mara's eyes for like 10 years. I just looked at everything but Mara's eyes. And then once it was like, your pathway now leads to doom, I snapped out of it. But I was scared to look in her eyes. I didn't want to see it. I didn't know what was going to happen. They told me not to, and I follow the rules, darn it. So hopefully from those two stories, you can see why I am so passionate about the Indiana Jones Adventure ride, why I'm super excited that it's going to be refurbished, and why I'm really, really, really looking forward to my Disneyland 2023 trip, where I can see it in full working order. I'm not sure if I'll have a Disney December 2023 video about Indiana Jones. It depends on how changed my life is from the attraction. Uh, but just know, I'm rooting for the Indiana Jones adventure ride, and I will be first in line when I get back to Disneyland in December of 2023. That is going to wrap up today's video and Disney December 2022 as a whole. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around, and I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.